Okay, so let's take a look. We've got the iPhone 6 and your HTC M8. Now, the one great thing about the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus is it has a sapphire crystal lens cover that's on the back. I think this is super important. I've had a number of phones that I've owned, and once that little back part gets scratched on the lens, you're pretty much screwed. It doesn't focus well. It takes horrible pictures after that. And a lot of us buy these phones for pictures. So to me, for the iPhone 6, the uh, Sapphire lens cover that's crystal is definitely a premium and beats out the HTC One M8. Now, number two, the aluminum build. I definitely love the build and look and feel, of course, of the Apple iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. I think they nudge out, even though the design of the uh, M8 is definitely beautiful, I think they nudge it out. It's just the way that they built it. It's very smooth. It's elegant. Uh, the curves aren't quite as elegant and cut on the M8. Number three, fingerprint technology. There's fingerprint technology in the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, but there is none on the HTC One M8. App environment. The iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus, of course, have a much better app environment. They've been around longer and been building apps, and of course, they have non-fragmented OS systems. So uh, basically, developers love to build apps for them first because they're very simple and easy to do. Uh, number, let's see, number. Uh, five, it has a simple intuitive design and the one thing that's great about the design of the OS on the iPhone 6 is that people can easily learn it. There's not much learning curve they have to go through. It's a very simple and just easy to educate yourself on how it works. Design doesn't take a lot of um, you know learning curve that you have to go through. Let's talk about uh, number six. Uh, number six is the five element lens. Now inside of the camera eye uh, on the iPhone 6 is a six element lens, or a five element lens I should say, and that's number six on our list of top ten. And it definitely makes a difference in giving you high quality pictures and everything else. Uh, plus if there's an eight megapixel camera on the iPhone 6, well there's only a four megapixel camera on the M8, which definitely uh, I've never really been sold on the whole concept of the megapixel. So there's that. Uh, number seven, there's no carrier bloatware on the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. Uh, with the Android, of course, you get carrier bloatware from all the different mobile carriers. With the iPhone 6, you don't have to deal with any of that. You don't have apps that you'd love to race but can't and all that good stuff. Uh, number eight, you get your OS updates right away with the Apple devices. Uh, they come out, you get them. One of the problems with Android is they're very fragmented and you have to wait for each of the carriers to make their adjustments to each of the updates that Google makes. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. A lot of people complain about them. Number nine, uh, when you plug in the lightning connector, I love how you can plug it in either way. It doesn't take a lot of brain work to figure out which way it's going. If you're plugging in at night right before you go to bed or wake up in the morning, it's very easy to get the plug in and you know which way you're going. With the micro USB on the uh, Android products, man, you got to have it just right and you also got to make sure you don't mess up your whole plug so it doesn't even work anymore, which I have actually done before. <clears throat> The uh, last and least on the number 10 of the iPhone 6 list of the difference between the M8, it definitely has a smaller battery on the iPhone 6. The iPhone Plus uh, will actually give a run for the money on the M8 where it'll take and have probably a battery that's somewhat uh, similar, but um, it's rumored to be I think around 1900 or something like that. Uh, for the iPhone 6 or 1800, uh, the iPhone 6 Plus is supposed to be, I think, around 2800. So it may go right up in par with the M8. We don't really know, but I think it'll make a difference between the two. The nice thing is with the smaller batteries, it doesn't take long to charge them. You can charge them up to 100% faster and get going down the road. So there's your difference. The top 10 reasons why the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus is better than the HTC One M8. Thanks for coming by. Give us a like. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Watch all the videos we'll be doing.